Leona, I've got to say, I saw you at breakfast this morning. I had quite the surprise because I didn't actually know you had a twin sister. <laughs> so I was like, oh, there's two of you. Um, I hear she's pretty handy at golf as well. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I mean, we did everything growing up together. Um, she played for a long time and, and stopped a couple of years ago, but nice to have her out this week supporting and following along, even though I'm actually quite bargained for this weather. <laughs> well, she's out here as well, so extra support. Um, so you actually broke the record on the LET because I believe you were the youngest golfers to play in an LET event. So much talent, so young. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems a long time ago now, back <laughs> up in, uh, in Northern Ireland, up in Tampa Patrick, so... Nice, I suppose, to have two events in Ireland on the LET schedule, uh, one in Galgo and one in Dromolin this year. So nice to, always nice to come back as a pro and, and play in front of home, home fans. Yeah, well, you're amateur over here, Tony. You've been putting yourself down. Now, I just saw you drive. No, it's true. It's been awful. Well, blame it on the weather. I know, I know. <laughs> but anyway, we're having a very enjoyable day and only the golf is ruining it. See, even the weather's not as bad as the golf, to be honest. <laughs> but your drive there was lovely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was okay. I managed to hit the ball, so that's good, isn't it? it happens when you're a good athlete and something else. You're hard on yourself. Well, I saw you practicing on the range yesterday, so you it didn't were with. Make any difference? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know that saying about practice and all that. And yeah. was it who was it? Gary Player or Lee Trevino or someone? The more I practice, the luckier I get. <laughs> Doesn't really work with golf. But you were with the owner's caddy. Was he not? Was he not giving you a few yeah, tips? Dermot was giving me a few tips, but they didn't work. <laughs> blame Dermot. Blame Dermot for everything. <laughs> blame Dermot, but no, it's lovely, sure. Even the weather is not ruining it. Okay, just lastly, Leon, you've got a good um, pool of Irish golfers. Why do you think Irish golfers are so good at the game? What makes it? Yeah, I mean, I think we grow up having to deal with all the elements and the challenge. I think we're, we're generally quite resilient by nature, so we just kind of get along on with it, don't complain too much and just take whatever we get. Okay. And lastly for you, Tony, uh, you were highly successful at your sport of horse racing. Does it get just as competitive when you're playing a different sport like golf? Well, the good thing about when you're a jockey, you can blame the horse. <laughs> you can't blame Callaway or Ping or whoever it is maybe hitting the golf clubs, you know. And um, Yeah, so I, I am competitive, but I'm just never going to be any good at golf and I've kind of resigned to that fact. Um, but I'm so stubborn I won't give up. Yeah. Just hope that one day it might come alive again. It might do, you never know. Okay, Mick, Mick Fitzgerald's been keeping an eye on your score. Are you keeping an eye yeah. on his? Or? No, no, he's a much better golfer than I am, so <laughs> there's no need to. You need to cheer him up here. Yeah. Come on, leave yeah, you to I'm get your next shot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, modest, modest Tony there. The greatest jump jockey of all time. 20